does it mean to you to share the captaincy with Zemkis? Uh, yeah, it means a lot. It's a tremendous honor for sure. And, you know, Gussie is, he's a guy that does everything right. I, I spoke about him, you know, earlier in training camp and what he means to our group. And, um, you know, it's nice to get, to see him get recognized like that and, and, uh, you know, putting a letter on his sweater. I think he's, uh, very deserving and, um, you know, definitely, uh, an honor for me as well. Kyle, when times are tough is when the leadership really needs to come forward. There's so many young guys in there this year. What's going to be the big message when there's, you know, when you hit one of those valleys with that group? I guess we'll wait and see what the situation calls for. <laughs> um, I think if you go about planning leadership messages when you don't have any context, it's uh, not a good recipe for success. So, um, you know, we're just going to do the best with the situation that arises. And, um, you know, like I said before, I'm going to be nothing but myself. And I know that Zemgus is going to do the same. And I know that, you know, we have a lot of young guys that are in the core of this team that are going to take a lot of steps in that direction too. And are going to see, you know, kind of who comes out of that group and, uh, the different voices and how they, um, are able to take steps in that direction this year. So really looking forward to that too. Yeah, I think, uh, you said recently that you don't seek out a leadership role. You just be yourself. What does it mean when people recognize that you are? Yeah, it's, it's, um, I don't know. To, to be honest, it's kind of awkward for me. Just like, I, I don't know. I'm just myself and I just try to treat everybody with respect, whether it's, um, you know, James, the security guard walking in or you guys or the GM coach, any player, whoever, like, I just, um, I just want to make everybody, you know, feel welcome here. And, you know, when I'm in the locker, I'm talking to the team, you know, we know when to laugh, when to joke around, when it's time to work. And, um, you know, so that's, that's just kind of the way that I want to try and help build this thing here. When the young guys took over last year and got, got the big minutes under Don, what role did you feel you played, I guess, from that point? Uh, you know what? I probably talked less, and, you know, I just really tried to be completely myself. I'm a bit, I'm a bit introverted at times, and, and you know, I, I think that they did a really good job of, you know, just – taking the game by storm and you know, being being themselves and, and playing in a way that, you know, allowed me to, you know, not say as much. The mistakes weren't there. Donnie held them accountable and Donnie held us accountable in the way that we played. And so I didn't have to say as much. I could just focus on more of myself and my own game because if you're not playing well or in a good frame of mind, you're not going to lead anybody. So um, that's first and foremost for me this year. And, um, you know, looking forward to, like I said, seeing the young guys continue to take those steps. Kyle, you're playing Montreal Thursday. You're starting a run of schedule now where it's going to be normal again. What's it going to be like seeing some of these teams? You haven't seen some of them in two years. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, a lot of guys that uh, haven't played against, rookies that, you know, had good years last year, some new rookies coming in this year. And it's going to be – Nice to have a normal schedule where we're, we're traveling a bit. Like we're going out west basically right away, and you know we got Montreal coming in. Haven't played them in a long time. You know we haven't been there since March 11th of 2020. So um, yeah, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. You know these guys went to the finals last year, and uh, we know that they're going to be ready and they're going to try and you know build off the momentum that they created last year. So it's going to be a tough test on Thursday. Well, you were talking about Casey the other day. Where he is today versus two years ago, you were surprised. Like, kind of the, the jump he's made. Mm -hmm. like, what, what, what has gone into that, I guess? You know, you saw him over these past two years. Well, I think that he, after his first year where, um, you know, he played most of the year up and then he was down a little bit, I think it was a big wake up call for him and uh, into what it takes to, to play in this league every night and to be an impact player in this league every night and there's a few different ways that you can take that when you're a young player and he took it in the best way possible which was to take a deep dive into his game, into how he trained, into you know everything how, how he prepared and he, he did the right things and he came to camp and he earned his spot and I know he started on the taxi squad, I think, last year, and 
but he was he was knocking on the door. He was ready to blow it open, and when he got his chance, he did. And you know, he saw he, how he played at the end of last year. So, um, extremely happy for him, and and just proud of him for for recognizing what he had to do and changing. Because that's that's not an easy thing to do as a young player. Sometimes you get an emotional, and you can say, "Oh, I'm getting screwed here," and and he didn't do that at all. He just put his head down and worked and um, really happy to see that that he's getting some getting the results are there moments where you see it off the ice because he even looks confident standing at the podium talking to us yeah yeah he's i mean he's really coming into his own as a person and um i think that he that's only going to continue to grow I, i spoke about it you know a few minutes ago and i said we'll kind of see how who comes out of that group and he's definitely a guy that's um he's definitely a guy that that people gravitate towards, and I think that that stems from how he carries himself uh, off the ice first, and then you know on the ice in his play, and that speaks volumes. You help Cousins. You just the membership of the group, you and Zemgis and the older guys. How can you help him stop putting so much pressure on himself? I hear that a lot that he puts so much pressure on himself that sometimes it affects his play. How can you guys help him? I think we can do it by surrounding him with the best culture that we can. And, you know, you shouldn't look at it as pressure. You should look at it as a challenge. And that's something that I've said since I was 10 years old. My dad used to say it to me. And um, it's as long as we insulate him and when, you know, we feel that he's putting too much pressure on himself, then we're going to say something to him. Just relax, man. Go play. I mean, um, sometimes he presses. I know that he wants to, you know, get points and he wants to be a, an impactful player. And um, but there are things that, you know, you got to learn about pro hockey, and that only comes with experience, and that comes with having a level head. And those are all things that you learn over time, and that you know we can help him learn organically. It's not like you're going to tell him something and the lights is going to, you know, the the lights are going to flick. Like it's. It's something that you have to learn over time through experience, through uh, having the right people around you, and I think that's what we're going to try and do. Wore a letter before for two years here? Uh, how long have I been here? Six. This is my sixth year. Uh, I think three, three, maybe. You wore one on Long Island for a year or two, did you? Maybe I was there for eight, maybe six. Oh, okay. Something like that. I don't know. Something like that. Okay. So, yeah, it's... It's uh, it's very it's humbling for me and um, like I said, I just I just try and be me and and you know it's it's nice to be recognized, but um, just being yourself is is the best way to be. When we asked Victor, when we asked Victor Olsen about you know you earning the A, one of the first things he said was that you were one of the most you know professional guys that he's come across, and he kind of said that you make a point to sort of take care of guys in the room. Is that something that's always come to you naturally, or did you? I just try and, you know, you walk into a room and you try and read a situation and um, it's pretty easy to decipher what guys are feeling, especially in hockey, you know, if you're, if you're excited, you're happy, you're sad, whatever, and um, you just try and take a vested interest in the guys around you and the guys in your team and really get to know them as people, and that's that's something that if I'm going to have a relationship with somebody, it's not going to be a superficial relationship. It's not going to be a surface level thing. Like I'm going to, I'm going to get to know you and what makes you tick. And, and that's what I like to do. And, um, it's something that I've kind of always done. So that's kind of what I just try to do with the group. And, and so if somebody is down or whatever, I'm going to go say something. I'm not just going to avoid the, the conversation. And if I feel like something needs to be said, um, if I got to give a guy a push, I will too. Um, or if I, um, you know, got to comfort somebody, I will. So uh, I just try and have genuine, authentic relationships with everybody I interact with. What are the things young guys should watch for from Zemgis? Let's go watch him play on the ice. Anytime that he puts his skates on, you go watch what he does and how he works and how he battles and what he does for the team. And, you know, that guy is – he is a tremendously – gifted player in how he plays the game and how mature he is playing the game and and how he works and he doesn't cheat the game and we all as hockey players one 
way or another growing up were the most skilled player on your team and a lot of times you cheat the game in in being that player trying to get points and he never does and I think that's something that every young player can take away from. Thanks guys.